Indians ball, half court press still here by the Lions as they find a hole and that's gonna be tipped out of bounds and the official's gonna call it La Indians ball as it seemed to me that the Lions would have had that one just tipped. Jordan down low, good, two points. Sinking it in with a little bounce off of the rim. And the Indians are now up early here on the Lions. 14 to five with under two minutes left to play in the first. Ashton curling to the hole, no good. And we're gonna have a blocking foul, two points. That's gonna be sending Ashton curling to the free throw line. We'll see if he can convert the two. As the first shot is good for curling. One more shot in his back pocket. Two for two at the free throw line for curling. And tapped out of bounds by number 25 of the Lions. That's Ty Southwell. As the fans go crazy, it's not their ball, but it's going to be a huge step up here on the defense if they want to come back down seven with under 140 left to play. And just a misunderstanding right there between both Indians. That's going to be tapped out of bounds, and the Lions will now have the ball back. Un down seven, 130 left to play. This might be their big break, Valdez with the basketball top of the key, tipped. And that's gonna be back in the hands of number 10, Austin Kutak. And the official's gonna call a foul down low as we have a substitution for the Indians. Nick Angerson is gonna be subbing in for Tyler Hawkins. Half court press once again, that leaves too many people open, but the defense was phenomenal down low as the Lions were able to get a block and Valdez zigzagging and spinning his way down to the basket, two points. That big block was courtesy of number 25, Ty Southwell. And Valdez was able to get to the hole and get two points in. And we're gonna have another foul and the official's gonna call that to the side, to the sideline as the Lions will have a substitution. Noah Maxwell will be subbing in for number 11, Christian Garza. Lions trailing by five, under a minute left to play. Intercepted right there by Ashton Curling. Has a man, overshoots him just a tad bit. That was Andres Valdez, almost able to get a fast break layup. That's just not what the doctor prescribed right there. Indians basketball. 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and the Lions are playing spectacular defense, but leaving one man open is the big man down low, Trey Daniels, for an easy two-point layup. And the Lions find themselves in a hole once again. Indians playing spectacular offense and defense. Valdez, three-pointer just off the mark. Rebounded by Angerstein. Jordan, Blue Dew, Blue Dow for the three-pointer. Just at the buzzer, 19 to nine is what the score is. And we'll be heading to the second quarter after this commercial break. Our tradition. And he throws it down. Hey! See you later, touchdown. A piece of cake by Ibarras in Harlingen is a sweet stop for cakes, cookies, and pastries. The best in time for specialty cakes made to order. Sweet bread, cookies, pies, or how about cupcakes? At a piece of cake by Ibarras, try a Texas-sized cinnamon roll, or how about some tamales? 
wedding cakes, graduations, you dream it and they can make it. The best in town is a piece of cake by Ibarras in Harlingen. Josh Moody and Coach Rolly Gonzalez of Josh Moody Loans are former Harlingen Cardinals and would like to wish all the teams good luck in tonight's games. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North. And we're back here with the second quarter action as this visiting Sacred Heart Indians are up 19 to nine over the Macedonian Lions. Lions starting off with the basketball down 10 here in the second quarter. Passing the ball around, looking for an open shot, and he finds it number one, Noah Maxwell from deep Seth Curry range, and he gets that one to sink as the Lions come back into half-court press. And Jordan Blue Dow tries to get his own three-pointer under his own name as Ashton Curling has the ball down low, doesn't like the shot as Blue Dow pulls up right away, right in front of him. And Valdez able to get a shot, and we're going to have a foul on that one. Let's we'll see if the official sends Valdez to the line. And she will. That'll be. She will not. That'll be down low. Valdez will be kicking it out to one of his teammates after a couple substitutions for the Indians. We're going to have Brady Haas and Tyler Hawkins subbing in for Alex Angerstein and Trey Daniels. And Valdez kicks it in now. Back to number 15, Raul Orozco. Reverse layup for Valdez and able to get that one to land. Somehow, some way, he has to put a little bit of, sprinkle some magic. And Blue Dow not able to get that one as the uh, Lions keep it in bounds, excuse me. And Valdez going back. Ashton curling corner three, second chance effort off the rim, not able to land as they hear the fans in a ooh-ah situation. And the Lions still have the ball back as spectacular defense. Maxwell, deep three, no good. He tried to go for it again and a foul will eventually be called on Orozco. And the Indians will put number 11, Alex Angerstein, back into the ball game and plays the number 22, Tyler Hawkins. Jordan Bludow down low. Almost gets stolen by Valdez. And just to throw it up by Angerstein. Curling taking the ball down low by himself, kicking it to Valdez, gets stolen by the Indians. And Jordan Bludow, the big man, Gets it stolen back by Noah Maxwell. Back and forth, hot potato game. As the Lions are now within striking distance, only down five points here to the visiting Indians. As the Lions now have an opportunity to reset their offense and take, take their time with under 5.45 left to play in the second quarter. Only down five, they're able to calm it down and figure out what they really want to do. As Ashley Curling's open and an easy layup as Jordan Bludow was not able to get there just in time. And the Indians now have the ball back. Angerstein, floater, no good. Good defense right there and that gets stolen back by the Indians. Austin Kutak with the basketball right now. Corner three for Angerstein, and that is not able to fall as they're able to get their own rebound, put it up, but they're going to be fouled on the way up. That's going to be 
Number 15 on the foul, Raul Orozco. And at the free throw line will be Brady Haas. Seven in for the Lions will be number 11, Christian Garza, and number 25, Ty, Ty Southwell. Jordan Bludow not able to get the rebound off as Ashton Curling takes it by himself, covered up by two Indians. Zigzagging his way, Euro stepping his way to the basket. And he's able to get that one to land for two points. And now the Lions are within two points of the Indians with 4.52 left, down by two. The Mac Macedonian Lions are, are coming back. We'll be right back right after this commercial break and after the timeout. And he throws it down. Arlington CISD Elementary Experience looks something like this. Let's see that again. <laughs> to learn more about the HCISD Elementary Experience, visit hcisd.org. We are back right after the timeout taken by the Sacred Heart Indians as they now have the basketball. New man into the game for the Indians will be number 34, Cole Bunyak. As Alex Ang Angerstein was not able to connect with his brother, Nick Angerstein, for a little alley-oop. And the Lions will have the ball back. Valdez taking it to the hole. And we're going to have a charging call. That's going to be on the Lions as Bunyak will be kicking it out to one of his fellow Indians, Austin Kutak, now with the basketball. As the Angerstein brothers connect there for a nice two points, 22 to 18 is the score. Indians leading the Lions with nearly under four minutes left to play here in the second quarter, halfway through to be exact. Valdez Lions with the basketball. The Afana floater. No good, just off of the rim, right back to him. Intercepted by Valdez as he goes up, not able to get the layup to land. Just a contested shot right there. No good. Indians with the ball back. Ashton Curling with the interception, though, as he finds Viafana, and that's going to be a foul. That's going to be two shots, sending number 13, Hector Viafana, to the free throw line. As the Indians are bringing back in two more players, that'll be number 15, Jordan Ludow, and number 22, Tyler Hawkins. Viafana, first shot, no good, just off the mark. And they will be subbing in for number 34, Clay Bunyak, Cole Bunyak, excuse me, and number 11, Alex Angerstein. Viafana with one more shot in his back pocket. Not able to get it to land. Rebounded by Jordan Bludow. As the Lions are playing good defense here, double teaming each defender, each person who has the basketball. And that leads him to a steal right there by Hector Villafana. As Valdez now has the ball back in his hands. Move the ball! 
Intercepted right there by Budao. Taking it all by himself, coast to coast, not able to get it off. Just out of bounds, Valdez with the ball back, kicking it out to, well, we'll see. Hector Villafana has the basketball now, top of the key. Three-pointer, no good, just a bit short. As that's rebounded by the Indians, to be exact, it's number 25, Nick Angerstein. As Jordan Bludow has another three in his name. Making it look easy for a big man. You don't usually don't see centers or centers to be exact shooting threes like Bludow has been this evening. 25 to 18. Loose ball. Lions will keep that. Intercepted by Blue Dow once again. They're going to be a big key factor here in this first half. Shot no good by Austin Kutak. Rebounded by Ashton Curling as he's not able to get the layup off, but rebounded as the Indians, excuse me, Lions almost got a second chance at it, but the Indians will have the ball. We're going to have another foul right there. That's going to be on Ashton Curling of the Macedonian Lions. And that's going to put the Indians in a bonus as they'll be sending number 25, Nick Angerson, to the free throw line for a one and one. First shot is good. He will have a chance at a second one. And then it's fair game. Second one just a bit short, bounces back off the rim. As Christian Garza has the basketball, no good. He tried taking it to the coast. Stolen back by Angerson and fouled as Clayton Chance going to the free throw line for two shots now. As Chance was fouled by Omar Sanchez of the Lions, two shots. First shot is no good as Chance has a second chance. Luckily, here at another free throw. And the first one is good. The second chance for Chance pays off as the Indians are now up 27 to 18 with 45 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Three pointer not able to get the second bounce off of the rim. Indians basketball, Angerson double team out of bounds, and the Indians will keep possession of the basketball there. Out of bounds on Ashton Curling, and the Indians will have possession once again as we have a substitution here for the Indians with just 25 seconds left. Austin Kutak will be subbing in for number 32, Clayton Chance. As Kutak will be the one kicking it out. And the officials will be discussing something. It's gonna be a warning on Bludau and Orozco. 
They're probably exchanging a couple words, but we don't have the audio and the technology to cover that. And we don't want to. As Kutak kicks it out deep, thinks he's Tom Brady, as Valdez will have it intercepted, going into the basket, but the official's gonna call it off as a traveling. And I don't think I saw that one, but Jordan Budau will be kicking it out to Kurt Angerstein. And we're gonna have a foul on number 31, Andres Valdez of the Lions. And Noah Maxwell will be subbing in for Valdez with just 16 seconds left. Sending Austin Kutak to the free throw line for a one and one. First shot, no good. Rebounded by Ashton Curling. And another foul. That's gonna be, this time it's gonna be on Brady Haas of the Indians. And that foul right there puts the Lions in a bonus as they get a one and one. Ashton Curling at the free throw line. And a quick substitution just before the shot gets off. It's gonna be Cole Bunyak subbing in for Brady Haas of the Indians. And the first shot for Curling is good, giving him a second chance as he gets one more shot in his back pocket. Trying to put him down by just seven. And the second shot isn't able to land, but the Lions do get the rebound and the ball back in Maxwell's hands, giving it to Curling. Ashton Curling being their top scorer all season not able to get that one to land. Out of bounds, Indians ball with just .7 seconds left. And we're gonna have one more quick substitution for the Sacred Heart Indians. Alex Angerstein will be subbing in for Tyler Hawkins. And Angerstein is, coach is gonna put him down low. Launching it to Jordan Bludow. And Ashton Curling with the deep three, no good. And that's gonna be sending us to halftime as the Sacred Heart Indians are currently leading the Macedonian Lions 27 to 19. And we'll be right back after halftime with the second half. We have furniture, appliances, clothes, collectibles, and more. All funds collected support the Sunny Glen Children's Home. Come see us at Vintage on Jackson at First in Jackson in Harlingen. Visit RGV Hometown Pharmacy and Natalie's Gifts and more. We are dedicated to providing outstanding customer service and patient care. See us today to experience the RGV Hometown Pharmacy difference. Let our family take care of yours. Call 956-496-2093. Forever Memories, antiques and collectibles located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, antiques and collectibles in San Benito.
Hi, I'm Rebecca Castillo. I invite you to visit San Benito and see for yourself the many things this community has to offer. Our offices of economic development offer a variety of business resources to developers, investors, and business owners from small to large scale. Contact us and let us work together on your next business opportunity. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. A Piece of Cake by Ibarra's in Harlingen is a sweet stop for cakes, cookies, and pastries. The best in town for specialty cakes made to order. Sweet bread, cookies, pies, or how about cupcakes? At A Piece of Cake by Ibarra's, try a Texas size cinnamon roll, or how about some tamales? Wedding cakes, graduations, you dream it and they can make it. The best in town is A Piece of Cake by Ibarra's in Harlingen. Josh Moody and Coach Rolly Gonzalez of Josh Moody Loans are former Harlingen Cardinals and would like to wish all the teams good luck in tonight's games. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia you at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories. 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. And he throws it down. Harlingen CISD Elementary Experience looks something like this. Let's see that again. <laughs> to learn more about the HCISD Elementary Experience, visit hcisd.org. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the concession stand. And he throws it down. Hey! See you later, touchdown. Come visit our new store in downtown Harlingen. We have furniture, appliances, clothes, collectibles, and more. All funds collected support the Sunny Glen Children's Home. Come see us at Vintage on Jackson at First and Jackson in Harlingen. Visit RGV Hometown Pharmacy and Natalie's Gifts and more. We are dedicated to providing outstanding customer service and patient care. See us today to experience the RGV Hometown Pharmacy difference. Let our family take care of yours. Call 956-496-2093. 
And we are back here in Alamo, Texas with a second half action as the Sacred Heart Lion, uh, Indians, excuse me, are leading the Macedonia Lions 27 to 19 here as we start action in the second, four, second half. And the first action, the first whistle blown will be a jump ball. That'll be number 42, Trey Daniels, and number 11 of the Lions, Christian Garza, fighting for the basketball. Lions did have next possession, so they will luckily be starting off only trailing by eight. Orozco to the basket, no good. Second chance, and he's able to get that one to land. Second chance effort right there by Orozco of the Lions. And now they're trailing by six. Angerson down low, reverse layup, two points for the Indians. Assisted right there by number 42, Trey Daniels. Lions with the basketball looking to make something happen. Still trailing, three corner three, no good. Rebounded by Angerstein. Passing it out to his brother. Awesome Butak with the basketball and the top of the key. We're gonna have a foul on the floor. It's gonna be on Orozco. And the Indians will keep possession. Lions still in the ball game, even though they're only trailing by eight. Blue Dow, corner three, overshot it. Kicking it out right back, just throw it up, he's gonna catch it, not a problem. But not able to get the shot to land, as that pass will be intercepted once again. This time it's Butak, as he takes it to the hole, evading one defender, not able to get it to land. Trey Daniels, though, he could get that one to fall, easy two points for the big man. Lions now with the basketball, trailing by 10. Big turn of events. We say come back into this ball game. Valdez looking for the three, didn't like it. And Curling will like that layup right there, contested by two Indians. That's not a problem for him. Two more points on the board for the Lions. And we're gonna have a foul on Macedonian. It's gonna be the Indians basketball on a change of possession. But before that, we have a substitution for the Indians. Brady Haas will be coming in for Trey Daniels. And the Indians will have possession of the basketball. Getting double team, and the fish is gonna call a traveling there on Butok, and that's gonna go back to the Lions. As they have possession, 523 left to play in the third quarter. A loose ball will be recovered by Haas. Kicking back out to Curling or to Angerstein. To the other Angerstein for two points. So the fish is going to count that basket and we're going to have an and one. It's going to be Nick Angerstein at the line for one shot. The only shot for Angerstein does land is that's a three point play right there. 34 to 23 as the Indians are starting to run away with it. Nearly midway through the third quarter. Lions need an answer. We'll see if any adjustments were able to be made and see if they can capitalize on those adjustments during half that they made at halftime. Passing the ball around, trying to get the Indians tired. as Valdez will pull up for the three and able to get that one to land. Easy money 
Nothing but net, Andres Valdez, three points on the board for the Macedonian Lions. And that get pass gets intercepted back to Vilafa. And we're gonna have a foul. Basket's not gonna count, but the Lions will be taking it down from the baseline. That's gonna be on Brady Haas. Valdez kicking it out to Curling. That's gonna fall out of bounds and the Indians will have the ball back. Half court press for the Lions. Angerstein with the basketball. As the Indians are able to reset their offense, have a little time to think it over, to see what they want to do. Blue Dow, corner three and fouled. And he likes the way that one, that one fell. And that's going to be an opportunity at a four point play. As Vidal, one shot, able to get that one to land. Four point play right there for Jordan Vidal. And we have another timeout. This time it's taken by the Lions, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm Brandon. And collectibles located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vital record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever memories, antiques and collectibles in San Benito. And he throws it down. We are back here after the timeout. We'll look to see if Coach Santiago Curling was able to make some adjustments for his Lions. And we'll see if they're able to capitalize on that. Ashton Curling currently with the basketball, kicking it out to Orozco, now Valdez. Down 38 to 26, we'll see if the Lions, they have plenty of time to come back, but we'll see if they have it in them. Lion Hart right there, three-pointer, no good for Valdez. Butak with the basketball. Kutak, excuse me. And that's going to be a traveling call on Nick Angerstein. And the Lions will have the basketball now. Ashton Curling and Valdez. Intercepted easily by Austin Kutak right there. Effortlessly going up for the layup. Not able to get the second chance effort to land. And there's going to be a lot of commotion down low, but the officials is officially going to call it on curling a foul there, and that's going to be the Indians ball at the baseline. 3.15 left to play here in the third quarter. And the Lions need something big to happen if they want to stay in this ball game. Curling. Excuse me, Angerstein up easily for two points. As the Lions are now trail by 14. Indians trying to run away with it here, not showing any mercy. And we're gonna have a quick substitution. It's gonna be Ty Southwell subbing in for Ashton Curling.
Kutak to Angerstein, two points easily. As they haven't added that to the scoreboard, it's going to be 42 to 26 with a timeout. And we'll be right back after this timeout. I'm Brandon Guzman with Real Sports Live. Stay tuned. I invite you to visit San Benito and see for yourself the many things this community has to offer. Our offices of economic development offer a variety of business resources to developers, investors, and business owners from small to large scale. Contact us and let us work together on your next business opportunity. Cherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate. Back. And we're back here after the timeout. We'll see if Coach Curling is able to Get it, give it, give his lion some heart. That lion heart feeling, able to come back here in this basketball game, down 42 to 26, up and easy for the layup right there. Nice contested, Omar Sanchez for two points. As that's a spark they needed to get the fans involved and out of bounds, and it looks like momentum shifting just a bit. Don't want to call it too early. Lions ball, Ashton curling down low will be kicking it out to the only man by himself, Omar Sanchez. And we'll see what the Lions now have up their sleeve. Passing it around, corner three, Hector Vilafa overshot just a bit, but rebounded by Orozco. Not able to get to the one to land on the second chance effort. Trey Daniels overshot the corner just a bit as the Lions now have the basketball back, curling, now letting his team set up, taking it for himself, and a foul on the way to the basket. That's going to be that's going to be two shots in his back pocket for Ashton Curling. That foul was caused by Alex Angerstein. Curling with the first shot, no good. One more shot in his back pocket as we have a quick substitution for the Indians. Tyler Hawkins will be subbing in for Nick Angerstein. Ashton Curling with the second shot, able to get that one to roll in. And the Indians now have the ball back. 42 to 29 with 130 left to play. Alex Angerstein, the Euro stepping his way to the basket, able to get that one to land. 44 to 29 now, as a corner three is just overshot a tad a bit by Omar Sanchez of the Lions. Another corner three for the Indians, as they get a second chance and able to reset the offense at the top of the key with Alex Angerstein. Bulldogging his way to the basket and they're gonna count that for two. Somehow, some way, some of the coaches and players are asking for a travel. But Alex Angerstein will be going to the free throw line to make this a three point play. And we have a subs on both teams. Charlie Caldaway will be subbing in for Jordan, Jordan Bludow. And for the Lions, we'll have Noah Maxwell subbing in for Ty Southwell. Angerstein, one shot, able to get it to land. A three point play, 47 to 29 is the score now as we now reach into the seconds of the third quarter. Lions with the basketball. Orozco, three, making it look easy. As the Indians now have the ball.
Going up for the shot, no good. And we're gonna have a foul occurring down low in the base. That's gonna be on the Indians, number 22, Tyler Hawkins. And the Lions will have the ball back. Of the One more quick substitution. Brady Haas will be subbing in for Cole Bunyak of the Sacred Heart Indians. 25 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Lions basketball. They're going to put some more points on the board. Orozco, deep three, no good, in and out. Almost able to get that one to land as he's going to be wide open, down low, just missing it is Charlie Caldaway. And that's going to be it for the third quarter as the Sacred Heart Indians are leading the Macedonia Lions 47 to 32. We'll be back with the last quarter, the fourth quarter, to see who advances to the Elite Eight in just a minute. I'm Brandon Guzman with Real Sports Live. Students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. And he throws it down. A Piece of Cake by Ibarras and Harlingen is a sweet stop for cakes, cookies, and pastries. The best in time for specialty cakes made to order. Sweet bread, cookies, pies, or how about cupcakes? At A Piece of Cake by Ibarras, try a Texas Spice cinnamon roll, or how about some tamales? Wedding cakes, graduations, you dream it and they can make it. The best in town is A Piece of Cake by Ibarras in Harlingen. Josh Moody and coach Rolly Gonzalez of Josh Moody Loans are former Harlingen Cardinals and would like to wish all the teams good luck. And we're back here with the fourth quarter. Eight minutes to decide who will be advancing to the Elite Eight in the TAPS playoffs. Will it be the Sacred Heart Indians or the Macedonian Lions? Eight minutes is a lot of time to decide and a lot of time for a comeback. Anything can happen. Lot Indians with the basketball first. Tightly covered by the Lions. And that's going to be a foul. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see what the officials saw down there. And that's going to be sending Austin Kutak to the free throw line with two shots. As I believe it was a hand checking foul at the top. Confirming two shots, and yes, it is. First shot for Kutak is no good. Just barely rolling off of the rim. And number five for the, in, the Lions, Ashton Curling just fouled out. That's going to leave a big hole for this Lions offense if they want to make a comeback. As we have the second shot of Austin Kutak. Good. One for one at the free throw line. And the Lions now have the basketball back. We'll see if Valdez is able to put this team, Valdez and Orozco, able to put this team on their back, see what they can do. Kicking it out, Hector Vilafa, corner three. And that's good. Excuse me, that's actually Christian Garza for the three. Now 48 to 35, Trey Daniels, no good. Out of bounds, and that's gonna be going back to the Lions. And we're gonna have a timeout called there by Coach John Holter of the Sacred Heart Indians. And we'll be back once again after this commercial break. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. And he throws it down. Hey! See you later, touchdown. 
Arlington CISD Elementary. After the timeout called right there by the Indians, also gave Coach Curling an opportunity to talk it over with his Lions, see if there's able to change up the game plan, see if anything wasn't working or what is working. We'll look to see what's happening now. Lions basketball, Andres Valdez trying to lead a comeback, mount the comeback here for his Lions. As Christian Garza almost trips on himself. Valdez looking for the three, doesn't like it, kicking it out to Orozco. Hector Vilafa getting poked by Trey Daniels right there, almost losing the basketball. And not able to get it to land, but gets his rebound. And he will be in the corner for a three, falling short just a bit. But Orozco will have a second chance points, maybe third chance points for two shots. And that will land for the Lions stolen right back. Austin Kutak by himself down low. And just too much pressure by himself, not able to get it to land. And we're going to have a jump ball called by Orozco. And that will be the Lions' possession. As this game is getting just a bit wild with 6.25 left to play. 48 to 37, 11 point ball game. With a lot of time left to play, Lions basketball. And we have a substitution here. Brady Haas subbed in just right now for the Indians. Orozco, three, no good. As the Indians now have the basketball back. Kutak going in, not able to get the layup to land. And that's going to be going back to the Indians. As the Indians, uh, uh, excuse me, going back to the Lions, as I believe the Lions need to slow their offense down so they can get some points on the board. I mean, it's going, momentum's going back to, to their favor. Once again, I don't want to jinx it. But the way things are looking is looking up. The fans are on their side. It's a home game. Anything can happen. It's playoff basketball. Valdez kicking out to Orozco. That's going to be a traveling call, heading back to the Indians. And those little mistakes isn't going to help them out here late in the ball game with under six minutes left to play now. And another foul. This time it's going to be on number 10 of the Lions, Omar Sanchez. And that's going to be the eighth foul right there for the Lions, sending number 10, Austin Kutak, to the free throw line with a one and one. First shot, no good. Anybody's ball game now. As, as he's able to get there to the free throw line, that's Andres Valdez somehow getting there. And let's take a look at that replay real quick. It's going to be on the right side of your screen. It's going to be Andres Valdez. Bulldozing his way to the free throw line as he has one shot in his back pocket. And that one is no good. Rebounded by Jordan Bludow. And that's going to fall out of bounds, but the Indians will keep possession of the basketball. 38 to, four, to 39 now. Full court press this time for the Lions. And we're going to have another foul. And it's going to be sending the Indians to the free throw line for another one and one. That's going to be Austin Kutak once again. Five thirty-seven left to play. First shot, no good. Rebounded by the Lions. It'll be a, only a nine-point difference here. Floating it up, no good for Sanchez. One-on-one, -on -one, Maxwell and Angerstein. And that's going to be a foul. Two shots for Nick Angerstein on the way up as he goes to the free throw line.
First shot, no good. As he has one more shot in his back pocket. And the second shot is no good. 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Lions basketball. Valdez, three, no good. Rebounded by Jordan Bludow. And that's going to be another foul heading back to the Lions. Excuse me, back to the Indians. And that's going to send Jordan Bludow to the free throw line for two shots. As they're now in the double bonus, 10 team fouls for the Macedonian Lions. Second shot is no good. One for one at the free throw line for Jordan Bludow. As Valdez now has the basketball. Overshot his man, Christian Garza. As the Indians now have the ball back once again. As we're now at five minutes left in the fourth quarter to decide the winner and to advance to the Elite Eight in the TAPS playoffs. Christian Garza, three-pointer, no good. Angerson trying to bull those away to the free throw line. Not able to get it to land, but they get a second chance. Rebound. Angerson back with the basketball, trying to reset the offense. As he finds Austin Kutak right behind him. And they're gonna be just waiting it out, trying to milk some time off of the clock. Another foul. This time it's on Orozco of the Lions. That's gonna be sending Jordan Bludow back to the free throw line for two shots. Every foul from here on out caused by the Lions will be two shots for the Indians. As we have, as that will be Raul Orozco's fifth foul, and he'll be fouling out of the, the the basketball game as well, alongside with his teammate, Ashton Curling. And we have another timeout, we'll be right back. This. Let's see that again. To learn more about the HCISD elementary experience, visit hcisd.org. back with 418 left to play here 419 I believe just one second doesn't make a difference left to play here in the eight and the fourth quarter as the Sacred Heart Indians are leading 49 to 39 over the Macedonian Lions Jordan Budao second shot after a foul and he's able to land a second one one for two at the free throw line extending the lead by one only 39 11 point difference now as we have a three pointer by Christian Garza, no good. Excuse me, that was Omar Sanchez. As another layup by the Angerson brothers are able to make it happen, the chemistry, probably ever since they were growing up. But that's number 31, Andres Valdez with a three pointer for his Lions. And a traveling call right there. Another one by the Indians, that ball's going back to the Lions as that's just in their favor. Brady Haas subbing back in to the basketball game in place of Tyler Hawkins. 
And the Lions are just within 10 points with under four minutes left to play, 340 to be exact. We'll look to see if any momentum goes back to their side. Noah Maxwell, deep three, not able to get it to land, just off by a bit as they rush back on defense, hoping to not give up any more fast breaks. That's been killing them all night, as it seems. And now the Indians are just trying to run some clock off, looking to see how much time they can kill before they have to give it back. And another foul. That's going to be a reach-in foul this time by Andres Valdez. And that's going to send Alex Angerstein to the free throw line with two shots. First shot just a bit off for Angerstein as he has one more shot. Leading by 10. Let's see if he can extend this to 11. And he's not able to. But his brother gets the rebound and loses the basketball. Andres Valdez back with the basketball for his Lions. Kicking it out to number 11 in the corner for a three-pointer. And that's good for Christian Garza. Three-pointer. As it's just a seven-point ball game with under three minutes left to play. Between the Lions and the Indians. Let's move on to the Elite Eight. Angerstein not able to get the layup as momentum was taking him one way. The ball was going another. Valdez, Euro stepping his way to the free throw line. And that's going to be a charging foul. And they're going to count the basket for two points. That's a Dres Valdez. Nice play right there. Putting his. as Valdez putting his life on the line right here for the basketball game. As there's a bit of confusion, and we're gonna have a timeout call by the Lions, but we're gonna take a look at that replay real quick. Give it to y'all on the full screen. Let's just see if we got it. And we weren't able to get the whole thing. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back after this timeout. I'm Brandon Guzman with Real Sports Live. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the concession stand. And he throws it down. Hey! See you later, touchdown. Come visit our new store in downtown Harlingen. We have furniture, appliances, clothes, collectibles, and more. All funds collected support the Sunny Glen Children's Home. Come see us at Vintage on Jackson, at First in Jackson in Harlingen. And we are back here as Andres Valdez is at the free throw line with one shot attempt. And we got the fans on their feet, and he's able to make that one. Now just a four point ball game as the Lions somehow came back on the Indians, 52 to 48. At one point being down by 14 in the third quarter, excuse me, in the second half. As they now brought it down to a two point ball game. And now coach John Holter of the Sacred Heart Indians will call his own 30 second timeout as he wants to review something real quick with his teammates, but that gives the Lions an opportunity as well. As you hear the fans going. As they got the parents, we got the basketball team, the girls basketball team, actually last night they won up in Bryan College Station, Bryan, Texas, and they will be heading to the Elite Eight and their basketball. As everyone's excited right now, looking to see if both teams are able to advance. 
And the Lions right now have only one timeout left. And the Indians have two. It will be the Indians' ball at the baseline. Nick Angerstein, corner. Two minutes left to play. And it looks like they're gonna be double teaming every person who has the basketball on the Indian side. It's gonna be out of bounds. And we'll look to see who has that basketball right there. I believe it's gonna be a foul on the Lions. That's gonna be sending Jordan Bludow to the free throw line with two shots. That's not one thing the Lions wanted to do here with just under two minutes left to play. But Jordan Bludow will miss his first shot. He has one more shot in his back pocket as the Lions hope they miss it. We got everybody on their feet. And he's able to make that effortlessly nothing but net. Lions basketball under two minutes to roll now. Trailing by five. Top of the key three off the mark for Christian Garza. Indians basketball. Jordan Bludow at the top of the key now. Austin Kutak with 123 left to play as they look just to kill clock. Intercepted right there by the Lions, rolling out of bounds. Just off of the foot of Omar Sanchez and the Indians will keep possession. 120 left to play. And he's wide open. That's number 30, Brady Haas, wide open down at the baseline. 55 to 48. Seven point ball game. Valdez for the three, and that's gonna fall sh way short. Out of bounds, and that ball's gonna go back to the Indians with 104 left to play in this ball game. Another foul called, this time it's gonna be on Omar Sanchez as they send Austin Kutak to the free throw line with just under a minute left to play, 54 seconds to be exact, trailing by five. First shot is no good for Kutak. As he has one more shot if he misses this one. It gives the Lions a perfect opportunity to strike a comeback with just under a minute left to play. And he misses the second one right there, rebounded by the Lions. As Noah Maxwell now has the basketball, kicking it out to Sanchez. Noah Maxwell, deep three, almost able to get it to land as that keeps in play by Kutak. And they foul there, and the shot does not count, sending Austin Kutak back to the free throw line with 37 seconds left to play. Kutak, easy money, first shot down. One more shot in his back pocket. One for two at the free throw line, missing the second. Trailing by six. Valdez, deep three. Not able to get it to land, rebounded and out of bounds and the Lions will keep possession of it. 26 seconds left to play 
And the Lions have one timeout in their back pocket. Stolen right there by the Indians. Jordan Bludow with the basketball now. And Kutak trying not to get another foul off. And they do foul one more time. And that's going to be Omar Sanchez fouling Austin Kutak, sending him to the free throw line once again with 11 seconds left to play. And that's going to be Sanchez's five foul, fifth foul of the ball game. And the Lions' third player fouled out this evening. Subbing in for him will be number 13, Hector Vilafa. No Lions able to be around the basket after an intentional foul. So Kutak by himself at the free throw line, able to make his second shot, 57 to 48. And we'll have another timeout taken by the Indians, and we'll be right back with just the last seconds of the fourth quarter. I'm Brandon Guzman with Real Sports Live. Visit RGV Hometown Pharmacy and Natalie's Gifts and more. We are dedicated to providing outstanding customer service and patient care. See us today to experience the RGV Hometown Pharmacy difference. Let our family take care of yours. Call 956-496-2093. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles. And we are back here, 11 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter in Alamo, Texas. As it looks like the Sacred Heart Indians will be coming out victorious here with seven seconds left to play as they have now send Jordan Blue Dow back to the free throw line for two shots. First shot is good for Bledow. One more shot in his back pocket. And it's now a 10 point ball game. Two for two at the free throw line with seven seconds left to play. And 59 to 48. Looks like it's gonna do it. Valdez to the free throw line. No good, foul on the way up. And that's gonna be the ball game as the Sacred Heart Indians led by coach John Holter. will advance to the Elite Eight in the TAPS playoffs. Congratulations to both teams for making it this far, and good luck the rest of the way to the Sacred Heart Indians. I'm Brandon Guzman with Real Sports Live as I have my scorekeeper and sports journalist, Jeremy Palacios, and my little brother slash cameraman, Eduardo Guzman. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone have a safe trip home, and good night.